everybody, it's Christy and Nancy from Tales of Revenous Reader and um, we're here today to talk about a book that is out, I think by the time this video comes out it'll be out either the day before or the day after. So we're here to talk about Chris Colfer's Stranger Than Fan Fiction. Exciting. Very exciting. So we first heard about this book at his last event here which was for his Young Readers Middle Grade series mm -hmm. um, and he talked about this book coming out and I didn't even know he, he wrote. First of all, I didn't know he wrote anything until that event. Yeah. And I didn't I know he wrote YA until he mentioned that. And this is his second it, or third YA. It's like huge. I had no idea that he had a huge fan following as he did. That yeah. well, it was a theater that was filled, filled with children. Children, and they were all dressed in costumes. Yeah. And there was contests and everything, and they were really into it. I was totally like, I know it was a whole thing. Bust in the dark, had no clue, but it was it was fun to see. It was really, it was so really cute. Fun to see. And I ho we hope he's going to come back on out on tour for um, Stranger Than Fan Fiction, but yeah, yeah until we we'll get there earlier, right? And we get a good seat. Yeah. So, um, since you probably haven't read this book yet, or maybe you have, it is for me. It was really kind of like I was like, I think he wrote this book for people like me. Mm -hmm. um, it's about four kids who are on their way. They're they've graduated from high school and are on their way to their next steps in life and they decide as their last hurrah together that they're gonna take a road trip. And what originally bonded them together was a TV show that had been on since they were really young kids, since they were probably in elementary school. And um, the premise of the story from there is that they engage with the star of the show and he agrees to go on the, um, on the road trip with them. Mm -hmm. And so, the overall tone of the story is they're coming of age, they're, what are the next steps for them and all of that. And then from there, uh, they meet the star and it's kind of their knowledge of that person not being who they maybe, you know, thought since they were kids who he is. And I had a personal connection with that because I've watched Supernatural for 12 years since literally the day it started. And I go to cons and there's a, there's a con for the fandom specifically in this in the book and um, there's like some connection yeah so I was like this book was written for me and it's, it's a huge attest to why I really don't want to spend time with the fan or as a fan person with any kind of celebrity so because yeah, it did that that veil of illusion kind of it gets lifted and it may not be what you want to see the so. reality of the, the, the story is not so great so that yeah. was um that was very, very interesting to say the least. So, and I've actually had an experience. You had an experience with a celebrity where you're like, oh, no, that wasn't what I thought it was going to be. Yeah. No. Yeah. And I was like, no. <laughs> no, exactly. <laughs> yeah. So, so uh, what we're doing to promote Stranger Than Fan Fiction, because I, I did finish it last night, it uh, mm -hmm. it ended different than I thought it was going to, but I would highly Texting recommend it. me with messages. At 1230 at <laughs> night, like, I finally finished it. And I don't want to spoil it um, and say anything more than that, but it is definitely worth your read. It is very real and true and written in a style that really resonates as real and true um, to me. But we want to talk a little bit about, because this is a book based on um, a fictional, there's a fictional TV show and the connection with that, we want to talk about books and TV shows that you might want to match them with. So if you watch this, then read this or vice yeah. versa. Yeah. And we're going to start with the if you watch this show then read this book part and then i have yeah. one flip of stories so uh nancy do you want to start us off with the first oh. if you watch this oh, then okay. read this. so so if you're fans of elementary or sherlock holmes i have the perfect books for you look at these lovely books here by Brittany cavallaro uh, they are the study in charlotte series so oh, good. Yeah. I finished this one, I think it just came out last week. Like in the same day, yeah. right? Yeah, in a day. It just like, you just ate it up. I had no idea. I read this one, I'm like, oh my goodness, I'm so addicted to it. So this series has to deal with the, um, the belief that Sherlock Holmes and his assistant were real people and that their descendants are, and their families have always been intertwined and so that their descendants now are involved in these cases. And it starts off with um, a murder that they're both accused of. It's kind of pointed in their direction and they have to solve their way out of it so that they can like, <laughs> 
survive and like right, not get put in jail right. for murder. So it's really good. And then this one continues on their story, and it has the Moriarty. Moriarty, I think that's how mm -hmm, they pronounce it. Mm -hmm. So bad with that is one of the main characters in this one. So yes, and how their lives are still intertwined, and how they're trying to solve crimes in order to save their families. Because now it's it's going a step further where someone's trying to actually get to them through their family members. So it is a really good book, good series. I highly recommend it. And it made me want to like read Sherlock, Sherlock. Holmes. Sorry, I, I, I never kind of watch it or in, because I had never bothered. It was never something I was interested in. And then because of these series, I've got so involved with them that now I just want to. And Charlotte Peter Holmes is a kick-ass heroine. She's so, so good. Here, she's so good. So it is, it's excellent also on audiobook if you don't mind accents and stuff. So that's really cool. And yeah, they recommended read. So yeah. you watch good. Sherlock in any way, whether yeah. it's elementary or Benedict Cumberbatch mm -hmm. or any other way, this yeah. is for you. Very good. Um, I picked up a couple of titles for different TV shows and some of the ones I picked are actually no longer airing. And but I thought it was still good to kind of talk about how their legacies live on. So the first one I picked up was the Thousandth Floor, and I would pair this book with Gossip Girl. Mm -hmm. And I think it was compared that way, definitely, but um, it is, it was so good. So close. It was, exactly. And in this book, it is totally, totally, you can see mm -hmm. the vibe, the, the way that kids interact, the way that they live, the way that, the things that they do, the way that they treat each other. It is totally Gossip Girl. It is just um, incredible, but set in a technologically advanced world. So if you love Gossip Girl and you miss it, Definitely pick up a thousand floor. The sequel is out in just a few months, and I can't wait because I really, I was actually really surprised with how much I love this one. Yeah. So it was a really, really good. On my TBR file. You to do it. It's so pretty. Yeah. So so pretty. Did just reveal the book before? The title, I think. The title part, yeah. I think, yeah. Yeah. So that's exciting news too. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So. Do you want to pick another? You yeah. Need to go on. So mine's mine's also having to deal with one show that is no longer on the air, but people still love it. Twin Peaks, you know that very abstract show with cherry pie and all this other stuff going. It's so weird. <laughs> it's so weird. <laughs> but you know, just addicted to that show. Which right now there's a new show that just came out, and it's Riverdale. And that reminds me of it, but just not as abstract. And it's really exciting. It's a fun show to watch. I'm, every week, there's always something that's going on. You know, Archie's really hot. Based so, on the, it's based on the, the comics. The comics. Plus Twin Peaks. Peaks. The characters yeah. are Archie comics, They're, which I love. Yeah. But the show oh, is not Archie. It's <laughs> not Archie. Not at all. There's not stuff Archie. going on. There's murder. There's affairs. There's like, all, it, it, and some really important. Um, issues that are being brought up, even like rape culture mm -hmm. and and, and um, slut shaming, all that mm -hmm. kind of stuff gets brought up in there, so it's really exciting. So the book that I have that goes with that is A Week of Poppy Midnight, because have you read this book? <laughs> it's insane in the membrane. It's really good. Her writing is beautiful, really but <laughs> it will just mind mess with you. I was going to say another word, but we can't say that kind of word. I'm trying to be PT here. So yeah, so this is really, really good book. And I'm trying to see if I can say her name without like making a fool out of myself. But April Genevieve Tuko K J K. No, see I said I did a bad. I don't know. I don't know. I try. I try. But this one right here. So if you guys read it, it's really good. So get on to this one. Right. Good choice. Yeah. Really good choice compared yeah. to that. So, um, I couldn't. We couldn't film this video today no. without talking about Supernatural because um, Supernatural. And so I bought two books to pair with it because um, that's my. Well, I don't want to see which one. <laughs> Supernatural family is my fandom. So, so I I've totally her fandom. Not that I haven't started. I did yeah. do the first series. First, You're gonna first catch up before I'm before we to. see them. And yeah. I'm bringing her, making her come to, with me to yeah. the con. So. Um, I picked two titles. The first yeah. is Shudder mm -hmm. by Courtney Alameda. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> that so scary. This yeah. book, the minute I, this is one of the most phenomenal horror types. It's not really a horror story. It's paranormal, um, but it's really got a lot of contemporary elements in it as well. So it's a book about a girl who hunts ghosts and she captures ghosts with her camera. Hence the name Shudder. This is apparently a ghost. Um, I guess. Yeah, yeah, it's kind of scary. So, if you don't know anything about Supernatural, it's about two brothers who hunt supernatural creatures 
and the world that they live in, but a big part of the lore within the series is the um, the aspect of heaven and hell and angels and demons and, and the devil and all that stuff. So I also brought Riders by Veronica Rossi, which is about the four horsemen and kind of talks, which play a really big part in the first five seasons of Supernatural. So I couldn't resist plugging this book because Secret is out, which is a, a story of another one of the characters in the story, um, is out in just a few months and we're really gonna be talking a lot about that book soon. So if you haven't checked out Writers, now is the time for you to do that. Mm -hmm. But I also highly recommend Shudder and Courtney Alameda has two books coming out in the next few years. She's phenomenal. I love her. Love her, love her, love her. So I definitely would pair these two books with Supernatural. For sure. Um, and I have one more series that I wanted to pair. And it was actually how it was pitched to me, which is why I ended up picking it up. So if, you, if you've if you been watching TV um, for quite some time, you probably know about Veronica Mars which is a, I love her so much. Um, so we got an email from, from a publicist who said, if you're a friend of Veronica Mars, email me back. I have something I think you would enjoy. And so I was like, send so fast. I love Veronica Mars. Obviously I saw the movie on opening day in the theater. I watched it from the beginning and I shipped Logan and Veronica so freaking hard. It's not even funny. Who doesn't? I know. Oh, <laughs> I'm such a Logan fan girl. Such a Logan fan girl. Oh, I know. It's so good. So, um, so the series that goes along with it is actually, there's two books in the series so far. It's The Trouble Makes a Comeback, and Trouble is a friend of mine. So this is the second book, this is the first book. And um, it reminded me so much of Ron Mars. Teenage detectives, just like in the show, getting into nonsensical trouble, just like in the show. The romance is a little different, but I really love the character Digby. Such a troublemaker, Digby, <laughs> such a great name, right? Okay. So much trouble, and they, I mean, it is just, freaking shenanigans. They're doing things like blowing stuff up and getting into trouble and all that. Just totally Veronica Mars. So, sorry. Very much so. So if you haven't checked out, Trouble is a friend of mine. <laughs> That's how you know you've been around for a long time. <laughs> that right there. Yes. So I highly, highly, highly recommend these. I consumed them by audio. They were so good. So We love um, audio. So. We do. And most of these books I have read by audio. Mm -hmm. Most of them. Most of them. Yeah, all of them. <laughs> audio. You read Make Pod Me Midnight over audio? Uh huh. How was that? I bet. Yeah. I, I actually read that one, so that's interesting. Yeah, I, that, that, that one was I good over audio. Yeah. Um, and so, doing the reverse really fast, if you are a um, fan of Stranger Than Fan Fiction or um, geek culture, I have a book to match and two TV shows to match with it. So, the book I would pick up to go with Stranger Than Fan Fiction is. Uh, the Geek's Guide to <laughs> Unrequited Love. I love this book. It is about... Look how cute that cover is. So cool. The cover model is so adorable. Uh, he is so adorable. And this book is about two kids who go to a con. They're really into... One of them's really into comics. Um, and he's in love with her, of course. And so, yeah, super cute. And um, the two TV shows I have to go along with, with Stranger Than Fan Fiction are Con Man, which is Nathan Fillion and Alan Tudyk's. Um, that's their series about conventions and Kings of Con, which is a supernatural series about conventions. So in any case, check those out if you haven't. They're on, I think, um, Comic-Con headquarters produces both, if I'm not mistaken. Um, they're available. I've watched the both. They are phenomenal. If you're a con goer, they're totally up your, in your wheelhouse. So, um, anyways, we will talk to you again soon. Check out Strangers and Fan Fiction when it's out this week. Bye! Check out all those books. And well, don't forget, leave us some suggestions if you think that there's something yeah. out there that we might enjoy that we have. Yes, right. match us with some TV shows and books because we need that. Okay. So, bye.